Hey there, Sam Gossner here with Versillian Studios, and I just wanted to go over some of the contents of the full Community Edition Raw Sample Pack. So to start by going through here, this is what you'll get when you download, minus this SFC. As you can see, I've started working on creating the SFC patches for you guys. Uh, those will be up uh, probably in a week or two. I don't know if I'll be able to create SFC for all of them, but at least for most, that'll get us started on that. So in the brass, we have just your basic four brass instruments. We have an F horn, a tenor trombone, a trumpet, and a tuba. So inside each of these are pretty much the same types of uh, articulations, typically a sustain, a staccato, and then either a vibrato or a mute, as you can see. So in the trumpet, I included both a straight mute and a harmon mute, just sustain patches for those. And then the tube is just sustain and staccato. Uh, next up we have keys. So in here I included kind of a, a basic down version of the organ. Uh, this is the organ that Simon Dalzell over at Ivy Audio, who did the uh, somewhat famous freeware uh, piano in 162, recorded for us. This just has info about the samples. And I also included a sample of the blower noise. We have the upright piano. Now here you'll notice there aren't uh, note numbers here. So I included a handy mapping chart that tells you uh, what note number corresponds to each. And you can use a renamer tool or do this by hand. Or if you're using our auto mapper for SFC, uh, you can just input that as your notation uh, dictionary there, and it'll read it and figure it out for you. Next up we have the percussion, so in here we have uh, just a couple of timpani samples. So here I did two dynamic layers out of the total of five. Uh, I'll give you two round robins. Pretty much for every single um, short articulation I gave two of the round robins. Typically we recorded between four and eight. So over here we got, uh, this is all just the random percussion. I ended up putting just about exactly 250 percussion instruments. So uh, just to go over, we have uh, some random sounds here. Anvils, bass drum rubs, bass drum hits. Here I gave you a whole bunch of the dynamic layers. Bell tree, break drum, claves, conga, cowbell, crash cymbal, a couple glockenspiel notes, gong, wiro, log drum, high and low, both, and uh, that's with a medium mallet. Uh, we have a quinto, which is uh, the small version of the conga, ratchet, sleigh bells, I give you snare number two here, which is in my personal favorite, and that's hits, both without the snare, that's the NS, and hits with the snare, and then the corresponding rolls for each, and then some taps, which are nice. Uh, then over here, suspended symbol one, bowed, crescendos, various hits. Uh, these are all a bunch of different hits, and then hits with the stick, which is pretty much a, about a ride symbol sound. You can use that for uh, scrapes, and uh, tambourine hits, rolls, and shakes. A couple more uh, miscellaneous sounds where um, in this particular sound is placing a symbol upside down on top of a timpani and striking either it or the timpani and getting various sounds. Uh, down here triangle number three and triangle number six were the two, so this is hits. Once again two round robin down from the typical eight. Uh, Various hits, hits fully muted, hits that mute um, like so, roll, and uh, finally the tumba, which is the large version of the conga, and then a couple extra sounds. So that's just the percussion there. Uh, now the strings. So here I give you a pretty full set, uh, at least of the sections. So we have a cello section here with 
tight pizzicatos, spiccato, which is the short uh, bowing, but it lets it ring, you know, jai, uh, and then sustain with vibrato and tremolo. Harp, just a bunch of different plucks from the second and third velocity layers. Uh, for the contrabass, there's a pizzicato, spiccato, sus non vibrato, sus vibrato, and tremolo. And uh, of course, uh, if you want, you can layer the non vibrato and vibrato together to make essentially a section sound. Uh, for the solo violin, we have the arco vibrato, pizzicato, spiccato, and tremolo. For the viola section, pizzicato, spiccato, vibrato, and tremolo. You get the pattern here. And same thing for the violin section. Finally, the woodwinds. So here we have just standard uh, quartet of woodwinds, bassoon, clarinet, flute, and oboe. So bassoon, staccato, sustain, vibrato, clarinet, staccato, and sustains. Flute, we have an expressive vibrato, a staccato, a non-vibrato, and a vibrato. Oboe, we have staccato, sustain, and vibrato. So uh, just a couple quick features to go over. So all of the sustaining non-vibrato samples are phase-locked, which means you can use them in any sort of cross-fading setup uh, if your sampler supports that uh, without getting phasing results. Uh, that means you can use it, uh, hook it up to a mod wheel, and be able to cross-fade smoothly between the dynamic layers. Uh, another thing is uh, if you do want to use the staccato, uh, I recommend using random cycling instead of round robin. Uh, with only two, it'll sound a bit more realistic that way. Uh, of course, you, you can always do whatever you want. Uh, and then just a couple little policy things to clear up. So these samples can be freely used by anyone for any purpose whatsoever. The only ground rule is if you make a set of instruments based on it, I ask that you do not make it commercially available. I ask that you keep it free. Uh, that way other people can use it and be able to build on it. Um, just to clear up some confusion, you don't have to attribute us and this set when you make a song using it. Uh, just a, a little extra footnote. If you need that in writing, you can just email me. Uh, but yes, you don't need to attribute Brazilian if you use this in a song. That's really just, just to keep the, uh, the lineage um, of the development of the sample library going. You know, if someone makes a pack, it's helpful if they say where the samples come from. Uh, that way there's no legal mumbo-jumbo going on. Nobody wonders if it's pirated or something. That way people know it's legit. Here's where it comes from. You can go to the source material. So that's really just that attribution clause right there. Uh, of course, if you have any other questions, feel free to email me. Uh, that's on the support page, the email address. Uh, and I'll put it in the description below. And I hope you will check out the video on how to make your own SFZ files from the Community Edition. So thanks for watching, and enjoy!